For the last few seasons, I think it's very fair to say that Real Betis have lived in the shadow of Sevilla, their eternal rival. The rivalry between the two clubs is insane, but Real Betis haven't been able to achieve what Sevilla have been achieving. We've seen Sevilla win Europa League after Europa League and finish in the top four in La Liga, but Real Betis just haven't been able to break that barrier. The thing is, they've got some quality players, players like Nabil Fekir to build the team around. Canales, experience in Joaquin, Mark Bartra at the back. They've got a good squad, but something's been missing. And that's why we're here to fix Real Betis and take them to the top. I'm very excited for this fixing challenge because we normally stick to the English leagues, but now we're moving to Spain for this one. So this is going to be a fun fixing challenge with Real Betis as we try and make them Champions League winners. Also, this might prove to being one of the most challenging fixing videos we've done because We'll be working with a very low budget because Spain doesn't have the TV money that of course Premier League has, so that in itself is a challenge. We're keeping the rules simple for this one. The objective is to win the Champions League. We can sign any players we want, but of course with the money we've got, it's going to be a bit tricky. we got to simulate every single game that we play, but once we do get to that Champions League final, that's a game we play to wrap up the challenge. If you guys are excited for the fixing challenge in Spain with Real Betis, then I'd really appreciate if you could spare a second and drop a like on the video. If each one of you guys watching the video drops a like on it, whoa, that'll be amazing. So yeah, just drop a like on the video. Helps the channel a lot. Subscribe as well for daily FIFA career mode content. Remember guys, but only like maybe 10, 12 days away from FIFA 22, the content madness is going to be crazy. So make sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Let's get on with the video. This is what we're working with for season one with Real Betis. Instantly, you could see where the talent is in Nabil Fekir. He's going to be so important for us. Being 26, I think he's going to be here for the entirety of this challenge. We've got players like Canales as well. Mark Bartra at the back, who I think could be huge. Canales is 29, so there's a bit of a problem there. Joaquin is pretty old as well. Bellerin has just been signed on loan, but we've had to make it a permanent transfer. We'll give that to us because there was no way for me to get that sorted. Um, apart from that... Borga Iglesias is an okay striker, so improvements need to be made. You can, I guess, guess why this team isn't as good as Sevilla. We've made the transfers they've made in real life as well, by the way, just saying. But we've got a few talented players in here like Lenez, who looks good being just 20. So there is talent here. Juan Miranda as well is decent, so we'll have to see what we can do with the transfer budget that we've got. But I feel like the Youth Academy, the homegrown player... That might be key to completing this challenge. Okay, so unlike the player we got in the Nottingham Forest one, Enrique Cruz isn't quite ready to be a first team player. So we'll promote him to the senior team, but the objective is probably to loan him out. Okay, what on earth is this? A transfer offer of about seven and a half million for a 38 year old Joaquin. Guys, I'm taking it. Sounds crazy, but he's gonna dip so quickly in his overall. I know he's a legend, but I gotta do it guys. I gotta take the cash. We don't have unlimited amounts of funds here at, of course, Real Betis. You get offers like this, you take it and build. He's actually been sold to Inter for seven and a half million. Can't believe we've sold a 38 year old for that. That's more like it. We're working with about 23 million. We can definitely do a lot of stuff with that. I'm preferably looking to improve the defense. Don't expect us to be signing superstars here at Real Betis, at least for the first few seasons. Eric Garcia was a good pickup. In FIFA 21, he's still at Man City, so we managed to snag him for about 10.3 million, way under his valuation. I'll absolutely take that. He's got some great stats. Spanish as well, so kind of a realistic transfer. I think he's going to be one for the future, especially with our defenders aging. This is a great freaking pickup, and it leaves us with some money to spare. Guys, I may have an idea, because an offer of 20 million for Christian Teller, who's 28, 79, I'm taking it. It's from Valencia. I'm taking it, because I think we might be able to make one of the best signings we could possibly make for that left-wing position. Just an idea so far. It all depends on whether we can sell Tello. I'm telling you, man, this Real Betis challenge is going to be super different. We, we are actually actively selling our first team players to generate some cash. Let's see how all this pans out. 35 million to spend. We sold a couple of players that we don't really need. And now let's make use of this. For 25.3 million, I think we've completed a transfer that's going to guarantee us success. Ansu Fati is now a Real Betis player. I cannot believe we've managed to pull this off. 
for that price as well, just slightly above his valuation, already he's gone up this season by one. We're going to try and put so many development plans on him progressively and make him insane. I feel like this and Eric Garcia, two Barca boys, the Real Betis just makes a hell of a lot of sense. I think it's going to work. We're now low on cash. I don't know if we can make more transfers. We'll see. But this is a winner. Can't go wrong with a signing like this. In other news, guys, I've just signed Abel Ruiz for about 6 million. I'm wondering, you've already got a couple of strikers. Why him? For 6 million, getting a striker that's 71, great potential. The plan with him, guys, is to just loan him out from the get-go for the first few seasons and then see what kind of overall he's getting. So it's kind of an investment for the future. It's a different tactic I'm using for this Real Betty save. I'm signing players now that we can potentially use in season 3 and 4. So... That's the idea behind this. Let's hope this tactic works. We're doing the same thing with this kid called Yeremi, who's 17, 4.6 million for him. Another cheap signing. We're going to try and loan him out already. And hopefully when we're in season three, four, five, whenever, we'll get our return on investment with a quality player. That's the play behind this. So guys, that's our transfer window done. I think we've done a good job bringing in a few youngsters, a few first team players as well. And Ansu Fati, that was the big one. Eric Garcia as well in the team. Let's just sim until January and see where we're at. We've still got a bit of cash left in case we need to use it. Not too shabby, guys. Halfway through the season and we're sixth in La Liga above Sevilla, crucially. Let's be real. For us to win La Liga, it's going to take a while. Right now, it's Atletico at the top of the league. Barca four. They're struggling. Just five above us. Okay, sixth. I think pushing for Champions League is going to be weirdly difficult. Let's not even think about that for this season. Let's just maintain this, finish 5th, 6th, and just get Europa League again and just keep building. That's the play. And by the way, we've topped our group in the Europa League. Maybe we can have a bit of a cup run here and land up in the Champions League. You just never know. So, round of 32, we're up against Lille. This should be fun. Okay, guys, we've just sold Sydney, one of our centre-backs, for about 12 million. He's 31, so it's fine. And that's put us at a budget of about, let's adjust it, about 16, 15 million. I don't know what we can do with it. We'll figure it out, but yeah. So even with that extra money, I just couldn't find options for players to sign. So yeah, I didn't end up signing actually anyone. So we're just going to stick with this squad until the end of the season. And let's hope that we can finish strong and move into season two with a lot more confidence. Okay, so we're at the end of the season and our job is in danger. Didn't expect this. What's went wrong? We're ninth in La Liga. Where did we drop off so bad? We've not had a good second half of the season, guys. This is horrendous. Real Madrid end up winning the league. We got absolutely destroyed by Lille in the Europa League as well. And what about the cup? What about the cup? Barca ended up winning it. Are we even going to get to keep our job? Stats-wise, Borga Iglesias had a good season for us. Fekir was the star man, though, in that cam spot. Juanmi did rather well. Canales, where's Ansu Fati? Underwhelming. He's going up in his rating, though. Lenez as well, up by five. These two are going to be key for us in the future, but not impressive. Not an impressive start to the save. Season 2 better be better, otherwise we could get sacked. Season 2 begins with Real Betis, and it's fair to say finishing 9th in La Liga has put us in a bad spot. We need a good finish in La Liga this season, and I'm up for it, guys. This is the team we're working with with Season 2. The overalls are a lot more balanced, which is awesome. Our keeper is 82 rated now. I'm thinking a striker who will guarantee us a ton of goals is where we need to go. It depends on how much money we'll be working with. We'll have to figure stuff out. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited, man. Players like Eric Garcia, now 78. Ansu Fati, 78. Miranda, 78. That's good news. And they're only going to get gonna keep getting better. So I'm excited for season two. We should be able to finish top five. I don't know about a Champions League spot. We'll need Fekir to do a madness for that. Thing I'm excited about the most is this. We're getting about 45 million or so to work with. That's huge money, guys. And we can really be smart about it. We sold a few players, generated enough cash, and now we've been able to complete this signing. 62 million. Alexander Isaac from Real Sociedad. Actually, he's at Roma in this safe, but we've managed to sign him. A striker that's going to be here for pretty much the entirety of this challenge. Can't go wrong with Isaac. We know how insane he is. 
Trust me, this, this is going to win us the Champions League in a few seasons. 100%. This is the blockbuster signing for season two. I don't know if we'll have money for anything more, but I feel like I needed to make this happen. Okay, so we've managed to sell a fair few players and got back on our transfer budget. Our squad is now pretty thin, I'd say. We even sold William Jose, but that's fine because we've got Isaac and Iglesias. But I do feel like we're lacking squad depth and quite a bit. So I think I'm going to work towards that. For the rest of the window. I don't think signings get quite better than this. Musiala from Bayern Munich for about 17.9 million. A backup for Nabil Fekir for the first few seasons. Maybe even he'll become first choice over them. You never know. But he's a very versatile player to have. And I'm really happy with this signing. Gives us that much needed squad depth. We're making one final signing in the window. We had to overpay so much for Guardiol. I mean, not really because 22.2 million for someone who's worth 16. I think that's fine. But we've now got another defender who's young, like Eric Garcia. So pretty happy about this signing, guys. Guardiol has been now signed by Real Betis. Okay, so with that, I think I'm done with transfers for this window. Pretty much our entire team is above the overall of 80, except Garcia and Miranda. So that's pretty good good to see and yeah the ratings and all are fine i think we're gonna have a good season guys i'm, I'm fairly confident it's gonna go well for us so let's sim until january and see what's the situation i kind of feeling that we might be able to get that fourth spot in la liga and get ourselves into the champions league for the first time in this challenge we'll see guys there's something wrong with fifa there, there's something wrong with fifa how is our team top of la liga how 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 i need explanations What's just happened here? We're top of La Liga, guys. This is not a drill. Real Madrid second, Barca third, and we're top by a mile. Imagine, two seasons in and we could be winning La Liga with Real Betis. This is absurd. I am genuinely in shock right now. Like, my, even my hair's completely messed up. Ignore that, but my God. How on earth has this happened? What about the Europa League? How are we chilling here? Wait, are we not even in the Europa League this season? Oh yeah, we finished ninth, so no Europa League. Maybe that's what's helped us. Just focusing on La Liga. We've got a good shot at winning the league title in just our second season with Betis. We've got to make it happen. Okay, so unfortunately, we're lacking funds to spend in the January transfer window. So we're going to just stick with this squad until the end of the season. Honestly, I'm fine with it. Like, we're killing it right now. We could end up winning La Liga in just our second season. So... Let's just see where we're at at the end of the season. Yeah, so this has actually happened. In just our second season with Real Betis, we've won La Liga. I don't know how we've done it. The funny thing is, we haven't even scored the most goals. No, we've conceded the least, and yet we've somehow done it. Four points over Real Madrid. Five over Barcelona. How on earth have we pulled this off? We've won La Liga in just our second season with Betis. This might be the biggest achievement we've had in the fixing series to make Betis La Liga champions in a couple of seasons. And you know what? That puts us back in the Champions League for the next one. Huge stuff for us. Oh my god. It's gonna be fun now. Now, of course, Spanish Cup. Let's see what happened. Barca beat us in the final. I completely forgot we even made it. So, yeah, fair play Barca for beating us. And we weren't in any European competition. So, let's le take a look at the stats of this season. Move on to season three. Oh, of all players, it was Borga Iglesias who stepped up. N 19 in La Liga, 20 in total. Fekir had a big season. Ansu Fati stepping up big time. Moreno. Insane. Isaac with just a couple of goals. What went wrong with him? He needs to step up next season, boys. Beren with an okay season. Lainez went up by a couple of ratings. Okay, interesting. But I'm disappointed with Isaac. We spent so much money on him, guys. And he hasn't repaid that. But Iglesias, wow, what a season from him. Season 3 begins with Real Betis. And we find ourselves in an interesting situation that I didn't expect. We're champions of Spain. Back in the Champions League with Real Betis. Wow, did any of you guys expect that to happen in Season 2? I didn't. And does that mean we've got a shot at the Champions League this season? I don't know, but if we get funded good money, you just never know, man. I really want to improve the squad depth this season as well. Probably a CDM is what I'm looking for. Maybe a quality centre-back, because maybe it's time to replace Bartra. Apart from that, uh, a right back? I'm not entirely sure. There are definitely options in a variety of different situations. We'll figure things out, but I'm excited to see what we can do in the Champions League. 108 million to spend. 
Here we go. Also, guys, I know Borgai Iglesias performed incredibly well last season, but I think I'm going to look to sell him now. It's the right time to cash in, get about 25 million, because my plan is to recall Abel Ruiz and use him as backup. It's just the smart thing to do. We bought him for this reason for cheap, that once he's ready, he assumes that role for us as a backup striker for Isaac. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to get him back and use him. I'm going to do the same thing for Yeremi as well. We'll have him back at the club this season and use him as a backup right winger. So that'll give us a good amount of squad depth. We've signed our first signing of the season. As I said, I'm looking to improve that squad depth. We've got ourselves Tomas Tavares. I know Nuno Tavares is the common fullback to sign, but this one, his name's Tomas. We're getting him from, who do we sign him from? A Benfica, by the way. He's valued at 30 million. How do we get him for 26? I don't know. I don't know how we pull off such deals in these fixing challenges, but great backup option to have. I think soon he's going to be first choice at this rate. So pretty happy with this. We've just signed a top class CDM. Locatelli's contract was expiring and I thought, you know what? 24 and already 84 rated to get him for 45 million absolute bargain i'm loving this real betis team that we're building already like it is genuinely insane so far and we've still got cash to burn we've just spent 65 million on edmund tapsoba one of my favorite center backs of the year i wanted him in the side guys 84 rated we had to pull out 65 million basically spending all our remaining money but trust me Having this kind of a centre-back at the back is going to be really, really helpful, guys. And maybe even push us to the Champions League's latter rounds this season. So, very happy with this signing. I don't think we've got money for more, though. Yep, we definitely don't have money for more signings. But anyways, this is what we'll be rocking for Season 3. And I'm loving the look of it. Like, the squad is insane. Look at the depth we've got as well. Like, so many good players in here. Like, our squad is ready to challenge for both the Champions League and La Liga. So let's just see how we fare. I'm ready for season three. Let's do it, guys. We're coming into this one as champions of Spain. Not sure what to expect, but it should be fun. Okay, it's very interesting that this season we've dropped down to fourth. Is it because of squad depth or Atletico Madrid just being perfect? We're still, you know, 41 points halfway through the season isn't bad. We're comfortably going to be finishing in a Champions League spot by the looks of it, but... Yeah, no league title this season. And we only managed to finish second in the group. But we had a difficult Champions League group, by the way. Benfica, Betty, Spurs and Moscow. Spurs have been sent to the Europa League, which is a surprise. So, okay, interesting. We'll be up against Bayer Leverkusen. So we do get a relatively easy draw in the round of 16, even though we finish second. So the luck is in our side. Let's see. Let's see what we can do, boys. This should be fun. In other news, I doubt we're making any transfers in January. The team is looking very solid as is. Plus, we barely have any cash. I'm just going to use this money to renew contracts. Miraculously, in just our third season with Betis, we find ourselves in the Champions League's round of 16. Didn't expect to get here so easily. But now that we're here, let's see how far we can go. If we have a bit of luck with the draw, you just never know. Because I feel like we've got such a well-balanced team. First leg against Leverkusen, a nil-nil draw. Interesting, but at least we prevented any away goals. Let's see what the second leg brings. I don't remember the last time seeing a nil-nil draw in a Champions League sim, but interesting. Anyways, we've now got the second leg. We score and we get a draw. It's enough to send us through. And that's exactly what we've done. We've done the bare minimum to go through a two-all draw on away goals. We make it, of course, the Champions League's quarterfinals. By the way, Gabriel Jesus in the 84th minute missing a penalty. This could have gone horribly wrong. It was close, but into the quarterfinals we go. And now the real pain begins. Champions League quarterfinals as we take on Liverpool. This is scary. Juve, Barca, PSG, Milan, Leipzig, Dortmund. No Bayern in the quarters. We need all the luck in the world to get through Liverpool. I I'm not sure what to expect here. First leg against Liverpool. If we can get somewhat of a decent result here at home, things could be incredible as we've beaten Liverpool. Lane is scoring for us. Ansu Fati as well. Salah missed the pen. Huge. Absolutely massive result going into that second leg. We just need a draw at Anfield and that's enough to send us through to the semis. Three seasons and we could be 
in a Champions League semi-finals with Betis. This is insane. Second leg against Liverpool. All we need is a draw. That's enough. We're through. Please, just give me a draw. Please. It's exactly that. A one-all result against them. Mark Bartra out of nowhere coming in with the goal for us. Champions League semi-finals with Real Betis. This is insane. This is turning out to being the most successful fixing challenge we've done because in such a short span of time, we've won La Liga. We're now in the semi-finals. This is crazy. So it's Barcelona we're up against in the Champions League semi-finals. Okay now. Wow, I want to see the positions in La Liga right now. We're second in the league. We're above Barca just about. We've got a game in hand though, so it's very, very tight. Very, very fair. This could go either way. Again, the first leg's going to be absolutely vital. We need a result here. Please, Betis, get it done. 4-1! Are you kidding me? We've absolutely slapped Barcelona. I know this happens to them so often in the Champions League, but my god, I didn't expect this to happen. 4-1, Isaac scoring a brace, Ansu Fati against this former team, Fekir on target. It's done, the second leg's just now a formality. The second leg, boys, it's job done, it's just a formality. Let's get it out of the way and book our spot in the final, that should be enough to send us through to a Champions League final. Mad. I cannot believe that with this team, we've made a Champions League final, like... Look at the amount of players we've got here that were already there at the club. Silva, Bartra, Bayern, you could say, Miranda as well, Canales, Fekir, that's what, six players already that were here? Oh, seven, Lainez as well. We've hardly improved the team, it's just player growth. We've just made smart signings to improve the bench and everything. Actually put Moreno in there because he's got better uh, sharpness and all. We're sorted, guys. Like, this is mental. What we've done here with Real Betis is create such a satisfying team. And guess what? We're going to be up against AC Milan in this Champions League final. Going to be a cracking game against them. Who have been our star performers? Ansu Fati. I told you signing him early on was going to be a big dub. And it has been. Lainez has been brilliant as well. Isaac. Solid season. Fekir, incredible. Canales has been great. Locatelli has been solid. Our signings have worked wonders. And now here we go in the final against Milan. This is what I'm rocking. I think this team should be good enough to beat Milan. I see a few good players there. Pedri they've signed. That's mad. They've got Rüdiger Zagadu at the back. Donnarumma still in goal. So they've got a fair few good players. But our team is ready. We don't have any 90 plus rated players or anything insane. But I think we've built a very, very solid unit. And let's hope we've got what it takes to beat Milan in this final. Let's get into it. I've noticed AC Milan have been making it to a lot of the Champions League finals in these fixing challenges. I think this is like the second time in a row. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I find it a bit weird. Anyways, Mark Bartra bringing it forward. Isaac, now Lainez. Seems pretty quick, the Mexican. Isn't he Mexican? I think he is. You know what? Just confirming if he's from Mexico, Lainez is, thankfully. I, I didn't want anyone getting pissed off by me calling him a Mexican and him not being from there. So, just confirming. And he, he is Mexican, so there you go. But right now, it's Pedri chessing it down so well. That was a bit mad there, but Mark Bartra, by the way. Um, solid stuff from him so far in this one. But Chalanoglu again. But look at Mark Bartra. Absolute warrior, man. This is what I like about this Betis team. A lot of the players in here, we've just built them from the ground up. And now they're like starting and probably going to deliver for us in a game of this magnitude. That's a bit mad. Locatelli. Oh, that's a lovely pass here for Nabil Fekir. The touch was heavy. The ball roll was audacious. No way. I cannot believe it, guys. A goal line clearance like that. Are you kidding me? This game, man. Oh my god, that is just brutal. Anyways, Fekir is looking for revenge though here. Finds it for Ansu Fati. We stole him from Barcelona. And Barca's crown jewel has managed to put us 1-0 up against Betis. I told you, signing him from Barca for that kind of price was the key to success. Guess what? He has now scored in a Champions League final for us. Real Betis 1-0 up. We deserved a goal from Fekir, by the way. I cannot believe how idiotic that goal line clearance was. Fair play, I guess, to AC Milan. But they got what they deserved. We deserved a goal. And Ansu Fati is the man scoring it for us. So under 30 minutes, we get the lead. And let's keep pushing. I want to win this game and I want to wrap things up here. Chalanoglu. Oh, that's a good ball inside. This time Hector Bayerin saving us from a very tricky situation. 
that could have resulted in anything happening. So, kind of got lucky with that. Good defending from Bedin, I must say. Nabil Fekir looking for Canales. That is a lovely pass right here for Lainez. Should do something from this. Oh, what a finish. What a freaking finish. Our wingers have stepped up big time. And the Mexican has scored in a Champions League final. 2-0 up against Milan. Almost from a situation where Milan had a chance to score. But we really played well. Oh, look at that for a pass from Sergio Canales. Incredible. Good finish from Lainez as well. Looking good now. 2-0 before halftime. We will definitely take it. We move. I think we're looking very comfortable right now. But you know what? I kind of want to give Abel Ruiz a go. I've noticed him grow so well in his rating. Why not just put him on there and see what he's all about? We're looking comfortable. Let's try out Abel Ruiz. And now Canales driving it forward. I'm going to take one from distance. Oh, he didn't even lift the ball. He still has it though. Sergio Canales. Oh, that's a Rabona attempt into the box, but that was never going to work. Locatelli helps us to keep the ball here. Ansu Fati looks inside for Abel Ruiz. Turns, tries to get the shot off. That's good defending from Milan. Second half again, the pressure is on from Real Betis. Fekir. Oh, that's a good ball for Abel Ruiz on the volley. First time, Donnarumma with a save. That's what I was hoping for, you know, from Abel Ruiz. And he's doing the job, but imagine if that went in. What an attempt, though. Great pass from Fekir. Ruiz scored that one so well, but it was straight at the keeper, though. Oh, Munir has just turned me there. Didn't expect that from him. Looks for the pass, but Alex Moreno, he's, he's had a very good game, I must say. What are we doing passing like that? We've given the ball right back to, Bet uh, to Milan. Pedri now on it. Bartra chasing. Barrios. Pedri has walked through our midfield. Plays a great pass for Munir El Haddadi. But Alex Moreno with a strong challenge right there. As we get the ball away from danger. Hector Bellerin. Oh, that's a good pass for Canales. And here goes Canales on a run. Difficult angle. He goes for the chip shot to try and create an iconic moment in this competition. Donnarumma, you're not chipping him. Still, Baku, we've managed to push him wide. I'm going sliding in to block that. Mark Bartra has been everywhere in this final, I must say. AC Milan struggling with not much time left. We just got to... Hold him off. We've got a 2-0 lead. I can't see them making a comeback unless they even score now. We're Gucci, guys, because there's just one minute left. Let's get this one out of the way. Bartra clears it for Canales. Canales smacks it forward. It's done. We've just won the Champions League with Real Betis, and we've done it in three seasons. This might be the most perfect fixing challenge we've ever done because it's been so easy with Betis. You'd think with Real Betis it maybe take, like, five or six seasons at least at least let's say the best case scenario four seasons but we've managed to somehow pull it off in three winning the league in season two by the way as well let's not forget just wow incredible season like yeah we definitely deserve a bit of credit for like getting it done in three seasons you know so anyways that's that for the fixing challenge this week with real betis it was super fun to record didn't expect to get it done in three seasons though but hey sometimes it works in your favor and this time i did mark bart with the captain's gonna lift the trophy that's it for the video if you enjoyed it drop a like it really helps the channel subscribe if you're new around here as well and i'll catch you guys soon for another fixing challenge next week plus your regular career mode uploads will be back tomorrow peace